there are very real problems in America. Okay. There are very real domestic issues in America. And there are very real foreign policy blunders that the Biden administration has committed. And like Americans do recognize it, right? Like they see it. And yet it feels like half of the questions are like vague to try to get her to arrive at like a reasonable answer. And even then she just re refuses to go there. And the other half are just like completely stupid nonsense. And like, it makes me feel like, um, like I'm thirsty. I'm hungry for like a person who will just look at a situation and be like, this up i'm gonna fix it and i don't know if i am alone in this you know what i mean like i with all of my expectations obviously being that you know it's never gonna happen in american media i get it i don't need to hear people uh telling me i told you so that's never gonna happen you're so stupid but it's like i can't be alone in feeling this way i can't be alone in feeling like like just address the issues directly yeah, or like just, tackle it head they don't on. want to address the uh, so okay just to just to kind of like have a discourse with with Hassan, they don't want to do that. They don't want to address the issues directly. So Kamala Harris is with, you know, it is like narrowly ahead in just enough states to win. And the person that she is, is a risk averse person. So for Kamala Harris, she just wants to white knuckle this thing without taking any risks. That is her strategy. Kamala Harris strategy is I'm up in the polls narrowly in the electorally college significant states and nationally. And if I just white knuckle this shit, I should be able to pull it off. But she doesn't have any confidence in herself or what she believes or that her ability to persuade the American people about what she believes to even say anything. It's it's very likely she doesn't believe anything. But you're like talking to her, she like she's a politician. And if Kabbalah Harris had been up on stage with like five other people, she would have never won, okay? The only reason she's there where she is is because the D Democratic Party is not worthy of the name. They machined politician put her up there because it was their only choice after Joe Biden came out and looked like a demented old man who's about to die. All right. She is the most pathetic candidate I've ever seen in my life. And if even if she does win, she instantaneously becomes the most vulnerable incumbent ever in the history of our country. She sucks. And her, her support from her is going to end up in the 20% range because she has no game. So even in the case where she does white knuckle this and gets across the finish line, she's instantaneously going to be the worst presidential uh, politician we've ever had. She's got absolutely no... And when they're scouting players, they say they have tools, right? So like, how good is your batting? How good is your fielding? How good is your throwing? How good is your base running? All those kind of skills that a baseball player has, right? She doesn't have any of that. Well, she is good at throwing. You're right about that. What if she wins in her popularity tag so bad she has to drop out of 2028 like Biden and then we get Waltz as a presidential nominee? Do you think that would be good? <laughs> that would be fucking awesome. Honestly, if that were to happen, that would be awesome.